Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the Prime Minister of the Commonwealth of Australia, Anthony Albanese, on taking the constitutional oath. His Royal Highness wished him success in carrying out his duties and further progress and prosperity for Australia and its people. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. Marking the 41st anniversary of the establishment of the GCC, the cabinet stressed the importance of consolidating efforts to achieve the shared aspirations of GCC leaders and countries to benefit their peoples and to support regional security and stability. The cabinet then reviewed a report submitted by the Minister of Health regarding the recent global emergence of monkeypox cases. The cabinet confirmed that no cases have been detected in Bahrain yet and that the Ministry of Health has been instructed to monitor the outbreak and take all necessary precautionary measures to protect public health. The cabinet was briefed by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications on Phase 2 of the Bahrain International Airport's new passenger terminal project and on the Ministry's future air and land transportation plans. Additional briefing was provided on the latest developments in relation to the King Hamad Causeway and the Bahrain Metro project. The cabinet then approved the following. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision to reform the National Committee for follow-up and implementation of the Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency Plan and their initiatives. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the National Space Science Authority and the Egyptian Space Agency, which aims to establish a framework for bilateral cooperation and space activities for peaceful purposes and the exchange of information and experiences. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the Albertine Academy of Fine Arts in Italy, which aims to encourage cultural exchange and cooperation in the arts. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects regarding a request to approve the implementation of 19 approved developments across various governorates in the Kingdom in accordance with the provisions of the Expropriation of Land for Public Benefit Law and a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to four proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet then took note of a ministerial report submitted by the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications regarding Bahrain's participation in the Middle East Rail 2022. The President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, paid an inspection field visit to the Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait Center in Had, where he was briefed on its various departments. He praised a distinguished level witnessed by the center and the advanced capabilities and equipment it includes. He affirmed Bahrain's continuous keenness to provide the best health services and achieve comprehensive health coverage. This comes within the framework of the directives of His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to develop the health services system and meet all the health care needs for the people of Bahrain. He reviewed the work developments in the project of self-management of primary health care centers, expressing his appreciation for everyone's keenness to introduce the people of Muharraq to the Choose Your Doctor program, which falls within this project. The Minister of Health, Taiq al headed Bahrain's delegation participating in the 75th session of the World Health Assembly in Geneva. The Minister of Health affirmed that the government of Bahrain has taken great strides towards achieving health for all at the national level, noting the wide leadership's interest in intensifying action at the international level to protect citizens and residents and achieve peace. The Minister of Health concluded her speech by hailing the Global Health Initiative for Peace, presented on the Assembly's agenda, calling on all countries to adopt their roles and harness their tools to achieve health and peace. She stressed the importance of working as a team with the organization to achieve the lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic and preparing for the upcoming pandemics, starting with the rapid and transparent reporting of any health situations of concern. The Ministry of Forex, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning started pouring concrete on the, for the reverse circulation bridge located at the entrance to Al Fatah Corniche in preparation for the tunnel work in the intersection of Al Fatah Center as part of Al Fatah Highway Development Project. The expansion includes the development of Al Fatah Highway to four lanes and the construction of a three lane tunnel at the intersection of the Gulf Hotel. 
The ministry has completed the construction of all the foundations and columns of the upper bridge for bus circulation, which has a completion rate of 31% and is scheduled to open to traffic in the last quarter of this year. The National Initiative for Agricultural Development in cooperation with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Supreme Council for the Environment planted 131 trees at Road 40 intersection in Sieve District thanks to the generous support of Credimax. This type of trees were selected for their ability to withstand the heat, creating a Kenobi environment and softening the atmosphere for passersby. The initiative aims to alleviate the effects of environment and climate change and the enhancement of food security to contribute effectively to achieving sustainable development goals and achieving zero carbon neutrality by 2060.